Hi, I'm Dean Crab, Director at C2 Solutions. We're focused on helping businesses automate, systemize, and innovate the way they work using cloud solutions. At the heart of that cloud technology stack is Google G Suite, so we focus a lot on that technology and the other supporting uh, technologies. So if you use that in your business, you're gonna like what we have to say and do. So today, I wanted to talk to you about doing advanced searches in Google Gmail. We we uh, demonstrated a video the other day where we talked about doing filters and labels, but we thought it'd be good to go under the hood and show you some more advanced stuff about how to do searches in Google Gmail. Now the really th cool thing about this is that Gmail search is incredibly powerful and you can save yourself a lot of time if you get to know some of these commands. You don't need to know all of the ones I'm gonna show you today, but it's helpful to know some of them. Now traditionally, people would organize themselves by putting things into folders. Now in Gmail, they're called labels, and you don't need to use them so much because once you get used to the search, you can really do a lot to um, improve the way you're managing your day. Okay, it's not very often you have to go back and find an old email. Um, and when you do, if you know some of these, you can find it very, very quickly. So I'm just gonna go through and show you those uh, in Gmail now. So if I just share with you my screen, uh, I'll actually zoom in up the top here. Okay, so you can search for these on the web. If you go into a search for Gmail search operators, you'll actually find this article done by Google. So you see here, it's done by Google. There's lots of other ones, but this is obviously the official documentation. And there's a whole heap here that uh, of, of commands you can do. Um, and we'll be walking through quite a few of them, not all of them, okay? So if you can refer to that article if you need to um, know more about these. So let's just start with some of the basics and then we'll start getting more and more advanced. So the Google search um, user interface appears up here if you click on that drop down on the right hand side here. Okay, and a lot of the basics ones you'll use 90% of the time are here. And I'll just show you, if you type in someone's email address here, okay, you'll see, um, if I then search on that, you get this syntax appearing at the top. Now you don't need to worry about the brackets, okay? These brackets are not really required, um, but what you're focusing on here is the syntax where you say from colon and then some search parameter, okay? And that repeats over and over again in um, using the advanced searches. So going back to this user interface here, you can see you've got from, to, subject, includes the word, so you can look for an email that has certain words in it, or certain words uh, that doesn't have certain words in it. You can search for has attachments and is in chats. What's the size, is it, is it a certain size or within a certain day? I'm gonna walk you through those, starting from some of the basics, some of these more advanced search operators. So let's just start with searching on words. If you do Google Cloud, okay, two words in the field like this, they're basically an and operator. Okay, so it's saying, saying you're basically saying, I wanna search for Google and cloud so find emails that have both of those words in it so if you look down here you'll see this email if i scroll down okay down the bottom here you'll see it's got google and cloud in it okay so basically silently between these there's an and operator now it has to be capitals if you're going to type it in you can't do lowercase because it'll actually think that's another word okay so it needs to be capitals to to do that but you don't you don't need to explicitly type the word and okay um, it's it kind of implied. So if I go Google and Cloud, you'll get all the emails that um, appear with that. Now you can then start to put more words to narrow down the search. So if I put in invoice, you'll see there it's narrowed it down. And then if I put in Denise, narrowed it down even further. So the more words, the more granular you get. Okay, so it reduces the search results down. So that's how you can do and. And you can also, um, if you want to, put square brackets around words as well that's another way of doing and okay um so again that's the and operator so the other one is an or so you might want to find all emails that have the word google or cloud okay so this will find a larger set any email that has google or cloud in it so you can see i'm getting more search results here okay the other way you can do or if you take the word out is you can put the curly brackets around the edge of it like that Okay, it's a bit shorter, it doesn't require as many, um, when you actually do more words, it doesn't require or, or, or in between each time, okay? So you can see I do, I can do that. So, or I can do or cloud or 
invoice okay and so there i'm getting any email again it grows the search results grow bigger with those three results in it now if you know an email based on the exact term you know there's a specific word in it you could do google oops i'll write it over here you can type in with a quotation mark google cloud and it's going to find emails that have that exact term match in it okay so again it'll find this email because <coughs> because the actual words Google and cloud are together in it okay so that's a, a good way of doing that now if we go back uh, I'll go back and one of the ones you will use all the time is from and to so you can see that in this uh, user interface here from and to but to do that it's literally just from and then you can write the email address <coughs> So you'll see these are emails from Denise. Okay, and it also includes chats. So you see down here, these are actual chats, not emails. Um, and you can also do two. So these are emails I've sent to Denise. Okay. Now, it's a common trap when you're doing these to get a bit stuck and not find an email. If you want to open it up, don't do a from or to and just do Denise. And this will find any emails from or to Denise or anything that even includes her her email address in, in the body or anything like that, okay? You can also do a CC, okay, or a BCC if you need to find things like that as well. So they all work. Okay, so just putting two and two together here, you could do, I wanna find one from France, or it might have been from Denise, I'm really not sure who sent me the email. Okay, and then you're finding all the emails from these two people, okay? So really, really quick, and there's your search result. The other one you may use, and you may remember um, that the email had something in the subject, is you can do subject. Okay, so if I do subject request for access, it'll find any emails that have that in the um, in the subject. You can see here, I'm finding all the requests for access for files um, that have been sent to me from Google. Okay, so if you t use the word subject, um, you can find that. Again, you got to remember without with just words separated, that's an and operator. So it's finding any emails that are request and for and access. So if I want the specific term, I can put the quotations around it and I'll find, you'll see it narrows it down to any that are specifically requests for access, okay? So just obviously you gotta remember the, the pieces as they build together. Now, things can appear in these folders down the left-hand side here. They're actually called labels in Google. So you can actually say, I wanna search for one inside um, like the logs label right so you could go um, label sorry label and then if you type start typing it'll know your label so if there's a stripe label or logs okay so there are all the labels that have log against them okay so really nice to find them that way again you can then narrow it down by adding like does it does the email include the word backup okay or does it um, has attachment I'll show you this one later has an attachment, okay, and so again, you're narrowing down what ones have attachment over, um, you, you'll see they have the pencil icon on the right hand side. Um, so that's uh, labels. There's a really nice, interesting, fuzzy logic one called around, okay, and so say you've got an email and you knew, know it includes the word event and user and you're not really sure, you can do this one, you go event, and it has to be in capitals, around, and five and user what you're saying there is find emails that, that have the word event and user and they're separated by, by about five characters around five characters okay so somewhere in there there's event and user and i know there's about five words apart if you search on that you instantly get some results okay and you can see things like um where was this one i was looking at yesterday this one okay if i scroll up on this email you'll see here it's got here user and event, use an event, and look, they're one, two, three, four, five words apart. Okay, so really, really cool logic there. You can, you know, use that for all types of things in the searching, but it's a nice fuzzy logic kind of solution to getting answers. Now, a lot of emails will have attachments in them. Um, so you might be trying to find an email with a specific attachment. So there's a whole series of, um, the whole series of, ones that can help you with that if you're searching for just any attachment you can do has attachment okay and you'll find emails that have the attachment on them i'll just show you over on the um, top right of my screen here you'll see they've got all the attachments against it but this one like here 
doesn't actually have an attachment and there's other ones like if I scroll down this one here doesn't have an attachment now if I open that email okay you actually look at it it's actually got an inline image in, in it okay so the images in the email body is not actually attached so the good thing there is it will find those ones for you like that but you may know it actually had a YouTube video so you can have like um, has YouTube uh, yeah I just wrote it there YouTube okay and so I'll find all the ones that have a YouTube video so this is one we did on using Google's voice recognition okay and someone's made a comment on that you can also do other things like um, has a spreadsheet. You got to remember spreadsheets in Google are not exactly the same as um, a typical Excel spreadsheet. So it'll even find those ones that are attached in like that. Okay, and you can also do has document. Okay, so really nice capability to do that. Now, if you remember um, the file name had something particular in it, you can do file name. Okay, and it could have just been a PDF. <clears throat> And you'll find that all the emails that have PDF attachments on them, okay. Or you could have said, well, I remember the file name actually had uh, the word backup in it, and like the actual file name that was attached had backup in it, okay. So can here you can find all the ones that have um, backup files in them, okay. So it's kind of nice to do that. Now the other thing is time-based searches. You might want to go, well, I need to search um, particularly for things that were after a particular date. Okay, so you could do, um, it was a file name, I know it was a PDF, and it was after, and you gotta write the date backwards here, you can already see it prompting me because I've filled it out before. Okay, after 2017-04, which is April and the 24th of April. Okay, and you'll get all the emails that are after that date, and you can see that up on the right hand side here. Okay, you'll see here the dates are all kind of recent. Okay, so that's kind of really nice capability there. There's other ones, so there's after, before, older, and newer. After, before, older, and newer. So you can play around with those and use them. There's also two other ones which is a bit simpler to do because um, you may just want to say it's um, um, newer than, you know, you see it prompting me there, newer than 2D, which is two days, okay? Uh, there's other syntax you can use for that, but again, you'll just get a, a smaller response as anything within the last two days, and you can see the dates there in the last two days over on the right-hand side. Okay, so that's, that's a nice one to do um, to simplify the time search when you're doing time searches. Now you may just want to look like um, within a particular label or folder. Okay, so there's a few that you can use for this. Um, so if you put in chats, it'll find all your Google Hangout chats. Okay, so it searches within those, which is really nice. Um, you can also do in inbox, so you'll just search within the inbox. Um, and sometimes you want to just search like in the trash. You know, some people store a lot of stuff in the trash. I don't know why they do that, but you can also do that as well. Okay, so that's a nice way of doing that kind of search as well. Now the other thing you can do is um, a size-based search. So you can put 0000, okay, and this is bytes. So if you do that, you'll find emails that have a particular byte um, size in them. And if you just keep putting zeros on the end, oops, sorry. Got a space there. If you put a zero on the end, okay, it'll narrow the search down more and more and more until you get you find your larger and larger ones. Okay, so this has obviously got an image in it and it's quite large. Okay, um, there are two other ones though. Just to wrap it up, that are a bit more helpful with size. You can say smaller than, which I don't know you'd use that very often. Um, there is also larger, so you can say larger than one megabyte. And I'll find those emails that have images larger than one megabyte. Piecing it all together though, you can do stuff like, you see it's prompting me here, file name, because I've done it before, file name, PDF, larger than one megabyte and newer than 14 days. So find me any PDF file name larger than one megabyte, newer than 14 days, okay, and there's my search result. There's just two of them. So very, very quick to find results um, in your Google email. Um, I hope you found that helpful. It's a really nice way of being able to search within Gmail and um, you know, get some really advanced capability. Um, if you like these types of videos, feel free to subscribe to us. Um, you'll find the link uh, here. Okay, you can go there and subscribe. We send out regular uh, 
value uh, videos like this that educate you on how to use cloud technologies in your business. I'm Dean Crabb, hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to seeing you next time.